Hi, we're here today to walk you through the strip speed application process. First, make sure you have all the tools you need ready before you begin the application. Mixing cups and brushes for pouring in the strip speed. You can also use a paint tray for this. Drop sheets to contain any residue and for easy cleanup. Masking tape, so you don't get stripper anywhere that it's not supposed to be. Rags for cleaning the surface before application. For removal, you'll need putty knives and metal scrapers. For the shaft or hard to reach areas, you can use abrasive pads. And for really complex shapes or difficult areas, you can use a brass wire brush. At the end, you can go over everything with the Prop Clean Wipe, which is great at removing any residue. For safety, there are four key items you need to wear. Overalls, safety glasses, a mask, and gloves. The first step is surface preparation. Remove any fouling or hard shell growth with a putty knife. Mask off any non-metal areas where you won't be applying the stripper. Before starting the application, ensure the surface is completely dry. You can give this a quick wipe with a clean rag. Make sure the floor area where you'll be working is covered with a drop sheet. This is for easy cleanup and to contain any residue. Take your strip speed bottle, shake it well, and pour it into your mixing cup or paint tray. Moving on to step two, application. Apply a generous thick layer onto the coated surface area for removal. Avoid getting strip speed on any area of the hull or a node, and if it does make contact, wipe it off immediately with a clean rag. Leave strip speed to work for 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the atmospheric conditions. Make sure to not leave strip speed on for longer than one hour to prevent drying out. Before stripping, do a test patch to see if it is ready for removal. If the coating comes away easily, it's time to get stripping. Next is step three, removal. Start removing strip speed using a putty knife or metal scraper. For difficult areas like the swim platform or propeller hub, use an abrasive pad or brass wire brush. Once all the coating has been removed, use water and a clean rag or a prop clean wipe to remove any residue. Finally, fold up your drop sheet and dispose of the waste according to local regulations. Now, your metal surface is ready to start the prop speed application process.